welcome back to Lifeline Apostolic Church. Everybody says hello right here from Russellville, Kentucky. We want to say thank you for joining us. By the way, do you notice the new shirts that we have? Lifeline Apostolic Church. So we got some new church shirts. The back of the church shirt says... Thank you. Go show them. Go show them. Turn around. It says, did you know Jesus saves? Acts 4 and 12. So... Again, these are uh, uh, some great things for uh, Lifeline Apostolic Church. Uh, we want to say thank you for everybody that uh, is wearing those that are in the church. Uh, again, we thank you for joining uh, Did You Know? So here we are again to uh, talk about Did You Know? Uh, today we're going to talk about, drum roll somebody, trees. Today we're going to talk about trees. Alrighty, so everybody else usually starts out, so why don't I start out today? So talking about trees, the book of Isaiah, chapter number 41, the book of Isaiah, chapter number 41, and verse number 19, it says, I'll plant in the wilderness the cedar, the shatai tree, the myrtle, and the olive tree, and I will set in the desert the fir tree, and the pine, and the box tree, Together, So what I want to talk about today is the box tree. So the box tree, and the first thing you're going to think is what in the world is a box tree? So a box tree is found over in the Middle East. And a box tree is just a little small tree. It's kind of like a shrubbery. And they would actually use the box tree to carve out handles for wood knives. And chess boards, the little chess things on the chess boards, are also made of the box tree because the box tree did not chip easy. So the, the, uh, the thing's really good for carving, and they made spoons and stuff like that out of it. And it is mentioned in your Bible. So did you know the box tree? So how about we find Keaton? It's your turn. How about you go? All right. I, I picked the willow tree. And... Uh... Did you know that in the Bible, uh, the willow tree was used to symbolize strength and also was used for medicine? And uh, actually, uh, uh, at the Feast of uh, Tabernacles, uh, uh, God commanded uh, the people to uh, uh, pick branches from a willow tree in uh, Leviticus 23 and 40. Also, so it sounds like to me, Bridget's is going to add to the willow tree. Bridget? Yeah, so I also have to do it. But I did pick another one. But let me talk about willow tree for a second, okay? Woo! So willow tree, you can find the oh, the willow tree mentioned in a bunch of different scriptures. But yes, one, and the mainest one is, before she tells you, the mainest one is, is they make good switches. Yes, oh, I'm about to say. Anyway, all right, carry on, carry on. That I'm is sorry. the main thing I know about willow trees is they make the strongest, the hardest, and the, it hurts. Yes, it yes. does. Yes. So, be careful with it. But anyway, right, carry on. <laughs> so, uh, one of the scriptures that I really love is uh, from Ezekiel chapter 17, verse 5. It says, he, he took also of the seed of the land and planted it in a fruitful field. He placed it by great waters and set it as a willow tree. Yes. So, a willow tree is known for its strength. Uh, yes. It is found um, it is found uh, in the Bible to be spoken associated with a brook or a river. Yes. And it's, it is grown with a never-ending source of nourishment and supply. So you'll find willow trees by the river, by a lake, by a swamp. They say the most of your willow trees, the reason why, if you find one that's been very successful, and I know down at Brother Edwards yeah, Church, they've got one that's very successful, and they say it's mainly when it when it's grown close to water, yeah. or, or it's well watered. Water, so. yeah. And they're really big, like, they're beautiful. They're huge. Oh, they're yeah. We just had a picnic summer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. Until the but, lightning hit it. And, yeah. That's what happened. I love yeah, willow trees. That's probably one of my favorite trees. But anyway, mm -hmm. off the topic of willows, uh, I want to talk about the pine tree. So I had one just in case. Pine so tree. a pine tree. I like to smell the pine. <laughs> yeah, me too. But I like that perfume fact, you gave me at work today. You're welcome. It smelled so good. No, it did not. It smelled <laughs> so like a woman. Anyway, carry on with the pine tree. <laughs> Anywho, so uh, a fun fact is a uh, pine tree is one of the largest genus 
Of the Pentecad. No. Pentecost. Sounds like Tom's, uh, but it's okay. <laughs> the, of the Pine family, which is the oldest and largest conifer family. So it's a, it's a conifer, so it eats. <laughs> but it produces good wood Pentecost. for construction and furniture. Conifer. And so when you think of a, a pine tree, I don't know if I'm wrong about this, but when I think of a pine tree, it reminds me of Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah, is that what it is? It's, well, it's a little well, bit different. Yeah, it's kind of different, but it, yeah, it's it's got looks pine. in that family. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's, kind of like an, an, it's, it's kind of like an it's kind of like an evergreen, which goes back to the box trees. You know, the box tree is kind of like an evergreen tree yeah. as well. Pine trees have shed a lot. So uh, you can find um, scripture about pine tree in pine Isaiah uh, forty-one and nineteen, but also sixty and thirteen. So remember. Isaiah 41, 19, 41, 19. and 16, 13. I'll let 16, you look it up. Absolutely great. All right, so how about did you know, and that would be Daisy. Did, did you know that almond tree is mentioned in the Bible? Did you say yeah. almond tree. tree? Tree? Oh, okay, okay. So it's not It's not enough. Anyway, so it's a tree. It's a fruit. Um, not fruit. It is no. an almond tree. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, almond tree is mentioned six times in the Bible. Several times, yes, it is. Yep, yep, yep. What else? Um, and Aaron's rod budded with what? almonds. Exactly. What else? Um, nothing. Else. Nothing else? No. I read your mind. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So here we go. Did you know Ashley? Okay, I chose a sycamore tree. Sycamore? Did yep. somebody? I'll let you carry it. I'll let you yes. carry it. Go ahead. Go ahead. That, that's originally why I chose it, because I always love that story. But it's mentioned nine times in the Bible, and I did not know that. But Zacchaeus wanted the man, uh, Jesus was coming to Jericho, and he was a small short. man. Short. He was very short. Very short. <laughs> and he wanted to see him, so he climbed up sycamore tree. And of course, God, God saw him, and he told him to go into his house. So, it, it, But the sycamore tree is the largest, deciduous tree in the United States. It grows to be up to 100 feet. Wow, really? Yep. I didn't know that. I thought it was a little and tree. And the trunk is as much as 10 feet wide in diameter. And wow. also, that's to me. Aren't those not sycamore just, trees at, at the park? Are, I'm pretty sure they I'm are. Pretty sure they are. Well, 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 carry on. I don't know. Well, they, but, they have some, the, the, some sort of rainforest. It's really tall. Cool. Yes. Really? Really tall, but it's so the spread. Yes. Yeah. The same. I'm about to say they the same the same time. Time. There's actually one tree like that they have. Yeah. 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 Yes. So it would be easy to get to it. End up being 100, well, not 100 feet tall. So it would be like a big truck, and then that it would be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're they're huge. And then also the bark is camouflaged. Oh, oh. oh you mean the bark of the tree? Okay, I'm sorry. And the dog. All right, carry on. Yeah, <laughs> it's camouflaged, and when it grows older, it start. It gets like a fungus on it. And it's not harmful. It does kill the tree, but hollows it, makes it hollow out, and animals. That's why they end up living uh, in the tree. Oh, that's very why strong. They're that's why they're hollow places. And that's why they're hollow places. Yes, but the best scripture I found on that, and I had, I like to think of was Zacchaeus, but it said, and the Lord said, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, this is Luke 17 and 8, and the Lord saying this, ye might say unto this sycamore tree, be thou plucked up from the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. So, so if you have, I mean, I know if you have faith grow some mustard seed, you can move mountains. I mean, you can pluck up the whole tree. tree. You, you can yeah. just pluck up a tree. I mean, that's yeah, that tree is really big. And if you think about yeah. it, usually as tall as trees are, that's how many roots they got down there. That's yes. I got faith. Yeah. I got faith in pulling it up. It's chain. got a great size. Faith. We could cut it down. <laughs> we can't even pull up those little bitty trees. <laughs> <I know. laughs> We're tree All right, is that it? Yeah. All righty, Chloe. Did you know? Did you know that a palm tree I was, echoing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was, really was knowingly mentioned 12 times in the Bible? What was it? A palm tree. Oh, palm wow. tree, okay. There is a story about, anyway, carry on. Is there a story? Yes, you're about to read it. I'm about to read it. If you don't, I will. Okay. Hey, anyway, it's Psalm 119, 
Um, in John 12 and 13, when the people in Jerusalem heard that Jesus was coming. That's it. That's it. That's exactly where I was going. They took the branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yes, they did. You wonder why they use palm trees. I would think that's because they're very beautiful and they're very flourishing. And they got big old fat leaves on them. So they were probably palm trees. I don't know, but they're cool. It it was prophesied that he'd come riding in on a donkey. The Jews didn't even believe it. He'd come riding in on a donkey and they ushered him in with palm Palm leaves. They sure did. And what made me think that they wanted to pick that of all places, or all all trees, was that they flourish? They're very flourishing, yes. and it says and that. And that is Psalms, evergreen, right? Yeah, it says that in Psalms 92 and 19. And also, by them having palm trees, you gotta think it's probably it's probably on the warmer side in Jerusalem. But did you know? Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. <laughs> did you know that palm trees have fire ants? No. Those things hurt. You would know that. You? I know that. <laughs> I know that because. I stepped on some something, oh, no. and they hurt really bad, and they run up your legs, and they catch these on fires and everything, and then you cry like a baby. Of course, I was a kid at the time. Oh, poor <laughs> thing. All right, Karen. Anyways, must have been really warm in Jerusalem and around that area. I wasn't in Jerusalem. I was in Florida. <laughs> 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 I'm saying, I'm it was the warm in Jerusalem. <laughs> but right, it must be pretty warm there because <laughs> for a palm tree to flourish like they said, they oh, flourish, yeah. and for them to be able to pull the leaves off and do it. It must have been at least 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 95. It can last up to like 105 degrees, but it has to be like that year round. So yeah, yes. so like it's hard to just pick up a palm tree and plant it anywhere. It has to be perfect. Yep. Yep. Is that it has that to be good. Good. perfect condition. Yes, yes, is that all you got? All righty. So again, we talked a little bit about trees. Just so you know, there is tons of more trees mentioned in your Bible. You already go check it out and look it up. We want to say thank you for joining Lifeline Apostolic Church. And again, somebody's talking about fig trees and different kind of trees. But again, thank you for joining Lifeline Apostolic Church. It's been a pleasure to have you with us. And join us Sunday for service. And if not, we will see you again right here at Did You Know. God bless you and have an outstanding day. Bye. Bye.